Lee and thank you so much for checking out my videos today. Today we'll be practicing 20 minutes of core and leg workout with no equipment. So if you are ready, all you need is a mat and I will meet you there. We'll get started. Started with lying down. We'll do a single leg stretch first. Pull the knee towards your nose or chest. your hands to your heels, ankle, or whatever you can tap. Reach side to side. Pressing your lower back to the mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take your hands behind your head, cradle your head, and then we'll do a little bit of a leg lift. So start with the toes, separated heels together, and then we'll lower down halfway or to a point where your lower back is still on the ground. Inhale, we lift. Nine. Exhale. Inhale, we Eight. Keeping your lower back connected to the floor. Seven. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one. To get into a elbow to knee, so static point is knee over the hips, lifting your head and shoulders up, elbow towards the left, come back to center, left elbow to your right, and alternate, always come back to setting point, and then repeat, nine, eight, seven, six, Setting up for your glute bridge. Take your hands down by your side, palms down. On the inhale, slowly rise up your tailbone, lower back, mid back, and upper back forward. First position, heels lift, toes down. We're gonna pulse here, little pulse. Little pulse. Five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Heels down, toes lift. Ten cows. Keep breathing out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then come back to your toes all the way down. Drop and cover your hips and keep your hips lifted again. So full extension. Go for seven more. Lower all the way down to one. Hug all of your knees together and knee to nose. Double leg stretch. Hold arms reach up, hollow your belly. Reach back. Seven here. Keeping the lower back to the floor. Last one. Resting on your elbows and lifting 
your upper back, mid back, and lower back away from the floor now. Elbows directly into the shoulders. If not, walk back, lift your chest, and you flutter kick your feet for 10 counts. Keeping your chest open, gazing slightly forward and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rising all the way up, press your hands behind you as much as you can, fingers point towards your heels. Separate your feet and take it up to your reverse tabletop. Hold it here, really engaging your posterior body, your glutes, your shoulder blades, your triceps. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. The lower all the way down. Let's take it back. Hold the back of your knee and slowly roll yourself down. Now keep your knees slightly bent. Bring your palms together. Reach towards the left. Down to the right. Exhale. Do nine more. Squeeze your inner thighs together. side to side. And then we'll take it to a seal pose. Hold on to the ankles, keep your soles and your feet together. And then we're going to rock forward, clap two times, rolling back to your shoulders, and then come up to your sitting bones. Eight, seven, side plank with your elbows down. Maybe you check with your shoulders. Sometimes it's nicer to stack your shoulder, but it might not work for everybody, so you can check that out. Then your modification will be the bottom knee bent and lift your hips up. You're gonna dip your hips and lift. I'm gonna go into the full side plank. Go for 10 dips. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Step your left foot forward. Modification, knee down. And then lift your inner thighs up. So, you choose what you can do. Reach, reach, and reach. Reach it over. Five, four, three, two, and one. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to here and take your arms overhead. Kick it over. You feel it oblique on the side body. Seven, six. Kick it for five, four, three, two, and one, circle it up, 
Work on those legs, little, little circle, more control. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The other way. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, point your toes. 3, 2, and 1. If you transition, come back to your lower back. And then we'll do a elbow to knee. And come onto your tailbone or your lower back. And rising back up. Eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Swivel your legs to one side. And then transition to your left shoulder. Left elbow. So elbow directly in the shoulder or a little beyond. So check out your alignment. Your left knee can be bent. Go into a little hip dips in the side body work. So try to glue your legs together. Helps. Keep going. Lift and tap. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Lower down. Take your right foot forward now. Reach your arm up. Lift your ear away from your shoulder and we'll do ten of those. Lift in the thighs foot. Eight. Seven. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Take your arms up and then reach wherever you can. Heel tap, heel and toe. Seven. Press the side body away from the, the ground. Five, four, three, two, and one. Circle. Keep your ankle in line with your hips. Little circles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Go the opposite way for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Woo. We turn back to center, to your lower back here. Elbows down, heels together, toes lift. Toes separated and lifting all the way to wherever your legs are straight, heels down. This is the last one on this position. And then we're gonna flip over. Two hands and knees after this. Go for seven. Keeping your lower back away from the ground, just your tailbone here. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend your knees, flip over to your hands and knees. Now hands are directly under the shoulder, knees are directly under the hips. Take your knees to hover, hold it in your bare pose. And the idea is to keep your neck long so you can gaze beyond the neck. Taking your right knee to your right tricep with the round in the back. Keep it neutral. Tap your elbow or tap your tricep. Four, seven, keep your form. Six, five, four, hold your belly in. Three, two, one. Lower yourself down. Take two cow and cats and then we'll work on our our glutes and legs. 
So we're gonna bring the elbow down. Take your right leg back, point your toes back. Lift up as much as you can. Tap your toes down. Just lifting as much as you can for eight more. Four, keep your neck long. Three, looking forward and down. Two, and one. Then we're gonna go out to the mats, to the right and left. Facing forward. A little momentum and swing. Work on straightening your legs as much as possible. You got six more. Flash your toes and lift up as much as you can. Look up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Draw your belly in. 3, 2, and 1. Slowly come down. Rest on your elbows. You're going to be extending your left leg. Point your toes. Lift up as much as you can. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your legs straight. Tap the outside of your mat all the way to the outer edge of your mat. Go for ten here. Nine. Keep going. You can count in your mind. Keep breathing. Five. Two more. The last thing here, pick up your uh, yourself, come up onto your heads. Flex your toes, lift up your back knee as much as your hip. And then little pulses here, gazing forward and down. Little pulses for 10, little pulse. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, cow and cat. And the last couple exercises are gonna be on our belly. More glutes here. And then lie all the way down, rest your elbows, walk your feet back, and then drop your hips down to the mat. Separate your feet, sorry, separate your knees apart. Bring your big toes to touch. If this is too hard, bring your heels to touch. These are all good. And when you set up, rest your chin down on your hands and we'll lift. Just your thighs lifting. Keep your chin down, head down. Go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk your knees a little closer, windshield wipers. Your legs from side to side. This time you're going to press your inner arch of your feet together and extend back. Lift your chin up off the ground and flutter kick. Go for 10, 9, 8, point your toes back, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, drop it back down, separate your knees to the width of the mat. Either heels have connects to the heels or the toes. The same thing happens, you can rest your forehead on your hands or chin down. 
You're only going to lift your knees and thighs. Here we go. 10 lift. 9. 8. Go it all the way down and lift up again. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Bring your knees in the arch of your feet together. And then pick up your chin. Lift up and hover your elbows and chest up. Feet are going to flutter. Okay. Here we go for 10, 9, point your toes back, 8, 7, lift your chest a little bit higher, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, lower onto your elbows into your sphinx pose, stretch out the chest, the front of your body, tuck your toes under and press up to forearm plank. You're gonna hold it here for 10 counts only. And try to squeeze the legs as if there is a ball in between your inner thighs. Engaging your arms, push the elbows into the mat. Now five more counts, you can do it. Four, three, two, and on one lower the knees, sit back to child pose. Releasing all your tension in your hips, lower back, shoulders, take your palms up to the sky and maybe walk your head down from the mat, walk your head from side to side. Come onto your fingertips, stretch over to your right. Breathe it in, try to even out the shoulders, breathe down, melt your belly, hold your thighs. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, go to the opposite side. Take your breath in. And a breath out. One more breath in. And a breath out. Come back to center. And slowly roll yourself back up. Inhale, the arms up to the sky. Exhale, side bend to the right. Breathing, come back to center. Breathe out to your right side or the opposite side. Come back to center. Hands to your heart center and bow down to yourself for your wonderful practice and your effort to be here today. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to do more workout with you. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Yeah.